a potential twist in the murders of four University of Idaho students. This is State of Idaho versus Brian Koberger. Seven months after the killings, attorneys for suspect Brian Koberger claiming he has an alibi, writing in court documents, evidence corroborating Mr. Koberger being at a location other than the King Road address will be disclosed. They didn't give any further detail about where he may have been, but say that information may come to light at trial through cross-examination and expert witness testimony. So if Brian Kohlberger really has an alibi, then give it up. Gene Fisher, a former prosecutor in the county where the murders took place, questioning why the defense would wait seven months to bring these claims to light. That's the whole point of the alibi, is so that law enforcement and prosecutors can look into it and see if it actually stands water or not. And that's important because we have no interest um, the, in putting the families through a conviction or a trial if the person really didn't do it. But prosecutors say DNA found on a knife sheath next to the bodies of two of the victims was a statistical match to that of Koberger's. Last month, the defense suggested that evidence may have been planted, writing the state's argument assumes the DNA on the sheath was placed there by Mr. Koberger and not someone else during an investigation that spans hundreds of members of law enforcement and apparently at least one lab the state refuses to name. His lawyers also argue investigators didn't find any victim DNA in his apartment, office, home, or vehicle. Don't follow too close, okay? That vehicle, a white Hyundai Elantra, that according to an arrest affidavit, Koberger was seen driving during traffic stops in at least three states from August to December of last year, and is allegedly the same make and model of a car that prosecutors say was seen at the crime scene the morning of the murders in November. Police also say cell phone data shows he was in the vicinity of the victim's home the night before. They know he's his cell phone is pinging all around the house, and so. It isn't just enough to say it wasn't me, I, I was somewhere else. The 28-year-old has so far invoked his right to silence. The trial is tentatively set to begin on October 2nd. The prosecution is seeking the death penalty, calling the crimes especially heinous. All right, Steve Patterson joins us now live from L.A. So, Stephen, we heard from that former prosecutor there. Did she have any insight on how useful an alibi could be for Koberger at this point in the case? You know, Tom, she told us that she was a prosecutor for 33 years and she hardly ever saw an alibi defense actually work. Typically, if you have a good alibi, you would have been cleared early on. Police would have moved on to try the person actually responsible for the crime. At this point, we are now just months away from the start of this trial. So for it to come up in this stage of the game, she says, is highly unusual. OK, Tom. Steve Patterson, we thank you for that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.